Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the I Heart Spring Tag and I really enjoy doing these tag videos. I like answering all the questions and really gets me in the mood for spring. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So if I keep looking down it's because I have the questions down here. So the first question is what is your favorite um, spring nail polish and I actually just got these nail polishes because I'm just now getting into like brighter colored nail polishes so I'm I don't know if this is cheating because it doesn't say you only have to have one for each thing so I have three so um, they're all from the same range um, they're the Sally Henson extreme wear nail color and I just love these colors like these colors are amazing so this first color is called um, coral reef and this is just a really pretty coral color, um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the next color is called Mint Sorbet, and it's actually what I have on my nails right now. And then the last color is called Pacific Blue, and this is just a really vibrant blue color. And I really, really like this range of uh, nail polishes because they last on my nails for like at least a week without chipping like they'll start wearing down on the ends before they actually chip so really highly recommend um, the Sally Henson extreme wear they have up I mean there's a bunch of colors in this range I also have the one that's called gray area and then I think I just have a black but I really really like this range um, so the next question is what is your must-have lip color and this is pretty much a given if you watched my last video and that would be coral. Um, I have four things here that are coral colors. So the first um, was in my uh, March Favorites video and this is the Maybelline Baby Lips in the color Coral Crush. And this is just kind of a little bit of coral. It's nothing like crazy. Um, the next is this Julep um, lip gloss and this is in the color Poppy. And this, I really like this. It's a little sticky, so if you're not into the sticky um, nail polish, or not nail, if you're not into the sticky lip glosses, I don't recommend this. And this is what it looks like. And let me just swatch it really quick. The It's really pigmented, and it smells like cotton candy. Like, it smells delicious. Like, I just want to eat it. So, that's my first, or my second coral color, and I guess I can swatch this baby lips for you, even though you probably won't be able to see it. Um, it's right above that there. It's really not a lot of color. It's just a little bit. Um, my next is the um, Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain, and this is in the color Rendezvous, and this is, like... Depending on the pigmentation of your lips, it's going to come off. It can be really, really orange, or it can be more of like a pinky coral color. Uh, and that's what that one looks like. It's the second one right there. And I love these. They're super moisturizing, and they stay on your lips. Like, the color stays on. When you first put it on, it's kind of glossy. But once it starts wearing off, the color stays, but um, it's not quite as glossy. But I really like these as well. And then the last is one of the Revlon Lip Butters, and this is in the color Tutti Fruity. And again, just another coral color. Really digging the coral this year. So that's what it looks like right there on the end. So there's all four of those color or those coral colors um, for you guys. And I'm just loving it. Can't say can't say nothing bad about the color of coral. I might switch, you know, by next week, but right now I'm loving it. Um, the next question is, what is your favorite spring dress? And I don't wear a lot of dresses. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I don't like showing my legs. But um, this is what I picked for my favorite dress. It's just a really, um, this is probably going to be really hard for you guys to see. So it's just a really bright pink um, floral dress that yeah that's about it it's uh comes like a little bit above the knee and i got this at target last year so they probably don't have it anymore but i really like it it's bright and it reminds me of spring um so the next question is what is your favorite flower i love gerber daisies um those are that's my favorite flower i think any color of the rainbow i can get it i love it 
So, um, next question, question five. I haven't been numbering these. Sorry. This is question five. Um, is what is your favorite spring scarf or accessory? And again, I don't know if this is cheating because I don't just have one. So the first is I do love scarves. I like this scarf a lot. I like really lightweight scarves um, just to add a pop of color to an outfit. So, you know, I just have this plain gray shirt on, but I have this neon scarf. I don't know if you can see it. It actually has skulls on it. Yeah, they have neon yellow skulls, and I just really like this scarf. But any scarf that's just a big a bright pop of color I really like. Um, the next ex um, spring accessory is my sunnies. Gotta have you a good pair of sunglasses. These are my favorite. I love aviators and um, I got these in American Eagle. I've been searching for the ones that kind of have like the mirror reflection and I finally found them and these are perfect. They're in the men's department as well. And then my last is my fedora because where my hair is thinner, um, my scalp tends to burn a little e easier than other people. So I like to have something on my head if I know I'm going to be outside all day. And Sorry if I keep looking back. I'm kind of checking myself out in the mirror. I think I, think I look good. Look like a little Justin Timberlake. Anyway, um, the next question is question number six. And that is um, what spring trend are you most excited about? Um, I'm just excited about neon colors. I really like it. It brings me back to my childhood because back in the um, early 90s, the day glow colors were really, you know, that was the trend then. So I'm happy that they're coming back in trend. And just, I like, I'm loving the pastels. Um, don't know why. I never really liked them before. <laughs> loving them now. So those are the two, um, trends I'm most excited about. The next question, number seven, is what is your favorite spring candle? And I actually just went two weeks ago, I think. Was it two weekends ago? Yeah. last No, it was last weekend. Sorry. Last weekend to Bath and Body Works. They were having a sale on their candles. They were two for 22 and I was like, I gotta go get some because I only have like fall and winter scents. So, um, I haven't burned this yet, but I know it's going to be my favorite. And this is new. This is in their um, Italian collection and this is the Limoncello candle and it just smells like delicious, delicious, like lemon. <sighs> Let me read the description on the bottom. So, um... It says, raise your glass to this fragrance inspired by Italy's beloved drink, Limoncello, which is with its notes of Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and a hint of lemon zest. And that's exactly what it smells like. Lemons and sugar. So I really, really like this. They also had another one, but they didn't have it in the big one. They only had a little tiny one. It smelled like basil, basically. And I thought that would be a really good scent for the kitchen. So, um, they have tons of candles. I smelled candles for like 30 minutes and I couldn't decide. But this one was my favorite of all of them. Alright, the next question. Question number eight is, um, what is your favorite spring um, spray slash perfume? And perfume, I don't really switch my perfume to perfume throughout the year but once it starts getting springy I definitely start wearing this guy and this is the um, coconut passion body spray from Victoria's Secret I don't even know if they make this anymore because I don't remember when I bought this but I've used it sparingly because I really love it and the descent description I like when I have descriptions so I don't have to try to describe it for you guys is vanilla coconut and lily of the valley and this smell, this scent, it just really reminds me of like spring and summer because I'm obsessed with coconut. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. And um, I just really like this guy. The next question, question number nine is, how is spring where you live? So I live in um, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I know you're probably thinking desert. But I actually live in the high desert, so where we live here is at like 6,000 feet. So we actually do have four seasons. So spring here, everything's blooming, and um, it's just now, like in the past week, started getting into the 70s and staying there. But what 
sucks about the spring here is you have this really amazing weather like the cl it's actually cloudy like it's been cloudy this weekend but normally it's not cloudy is it's freaking windy all the time all the time like crazy amounts of wind I like blows my mind because back east if you had the like the strong winds that we have here it'd be a tornado but here it's just 40 mile per hour winds like that's just a daily basis no big deal um so yeah that's the one thing that sucks about spring here is the wind and i hate the wind so uh, and it's dry and you get dust storms so yeah that's kind of the sucky part but uh you know you take what you can get because it starts getting warmer and so i kind of you just gotta deal with it right yeah exactly mm -hmm. so question 10 is what is your favorite thing about spring and back east my favorite thing about spring was seeing all everything blooming so everything turning green and the flowers coming out um i miss that a lot so out here uh, we have some trees but there's not it's nothing like back east so i miss that um here i've not not a lot to love about the spring here because of the wind if it wasn't windy the spring here would be pretty amazing because it would be 70 degrees sunny it'd be great so if the wind could be gone i might like the spring here a lot more than i liked it back east but uh yeah not gonna complain not gonna bring this down not gonna be debbie downer here so question number 11 is are you a spring cleaner and that is a big fat no I'm not a spring cleaner. I'm not a rest of the year cleaner. I hate cleaning. I clean when I feel like it, which is not very often. And then uh, question number 12 is any spring break or upcoming vacation plans? Um, I don't get spring break because I'm not in college or school anymore, so I don't get to enjoy that. But, um, I actually do have an upcoming vacation um, this coming weekend. I'm actually going to Portland, so I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully the weather up there is nice. It may or may not be. It's the Pacific Northwest. Could be raining. Sun could be shining. I don't know. But I'm uh, pretty excited about it. Um, looking forward to that because I'm not going to get any kind of vacation or trip really for the rest of the year. So I'm going to enjoy this long weekend coming up. So yeah, that is all of the questions and yeah, that's it. So I tag you guys to do this. Anybody who wants to do it, please do. Or if you don't want to make a video, you can just leave a comment down below answering all the questions. I'll have the comments in the um, box down below, or not the comments. I'll have the questions in the box down below. So if you guys want to answer them in the comments, you can answer them in the comments. That'd be great. Um, but I think that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.